Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is the third installment in my anti-aging ingredient series. The first was on the retinoids, the second was on sunscreen. Those are the two most important ingredients that you can use to help to turn back the hands of time or to help prevent uh, future aging. I'll put the link to the playlist right up here and you can check that out anytime. But today's video is going to be about the alpha hydroxy acids. So alpha hydroxy acids, aka AHAs, are a group of acids that are used in skincare basically for exfoliation. They can be naturally derived or they can be synthetic and there are lots of different alpha hydroxy acids. And as with all anti-aging ingredients, some are more effective than others, and we're going to talk about why in a couple of minutes. But in general, the way that they work is that they exfoliate the skin. So you can exfoliate your skin a number of ways. You can rub it with a loofah or um, a scrub with grains in it, but at my age, I prefer to be nice and gentle to my skin. I don't want to do anything that's going to scratch the surface and cause harm. So I much prefer the chemical exfoliants, and that's where alpha hydroxy acids come in. So the way they work is they break down the bonds that hold the dead skin cells onto the surface and cause quicker cell turnover, which is great because as you get older, one of the things that your body slows down on, along with everything else it seems, collagen production and everything, is that the surface layer of the skin, the stratum corneum, which is all made out of dead cells anyway, it turns over much more slowly than when we're younger. And as those dead skin cells tend to pile up on top of each other, it makes our skin look dull. It can make our skin look crepey. So the way AHAs help our skin is that they thin the outer dead layer of skin, and they also thicken the deeper layers of skin. They can help with lightening age spots and discolorations, with overall brightness, with skin surface texture, and with fine lines and wrinkles. So given that they can do all that and they're is some evidence that they also help with collagen gene expression, why wouldn't you be using one in your skincare routine, right? Well, the answer is that they can also be irritating and that the effectiveness very much depends on the formulation. So there are alpha hydroxy acid products that you can buy at the store and they come in every form. There are washes, there are toners, there are leave-on products, gels, creams, uh, serum, because it is an over-the-counter ingredient. It's not regulated by the FDA. Or you can get alpha hydroxy acid peels done at a med spa or a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon's office. So there are a number of studies done in 1996. They studied different strengths of glycolic and lactic acids. So there was a 50% peel, then there was a 25% topical, and then there was an 8% topical. Now they all showed results, but they were at varying levels. So the 50% definitely showed the best results as far as thinning the stratum corneum and thickening the deeper layers of the dermis and also showing some uh, collagen gene expression. And the 25% was a little bit less effective, but still showed some of those markers. And the 8% was even less effective. They were moderately effective at reducing the signs of sun damage in the skin. So I'll link those studies below and you can use those to kind of decide if you want to get like an in-office peel, if that's going to be more effective for you, or if you want to use uh, some kind of alpha hydroxy acid every day at home. So the main thing that you want to be looking for when you're selecting an alpha hydroxy acid product or treatment is the kind of acid that it uses, the concentration of the acid, and the pH of the formula. So that will all affect how effective it is. So you could put oh, say 50% uh, glycolic acid into a formula, but you can make the pH so high and so neutral that it'll be like putting water on your skin. Or you could put a tiny percentage of uh, glycolic acid in a product and put the pH really, really low, and it will peel your, your skin right off because then it is just pure acid. So where these are concerned, you really have to be mindful of the formula and you really have to find brands that tell you what the pH is, what the concentration is. The at-home products are generally in a concentration of 2 to 20% with a pH range of 1.9 to 6. 1.9 is going to be very, very effective because that's much more acidy and six is much more neutral and so that is going to be much less effective. The sweet spot and the safest spot is around a 3.5 pH so that's what you're going to be looking for. Then the in-office peels are 20% and up. They go all the way up to like 70% 
and the pH will be much, much lower so that your dermatologist or your doctor can control the depth of the peel, how long to leave it on for. So you wanna leave those in the hands of the professionals because you don't wanna be messing around with a super low pH, high concentration product at home. You can do some harm to your skin. A study in 2009 showed that using glycolic acid did increase sun sensitivity. So as with all anti-aging actives or just people who are concerned with anti-aging in general should definitely be used with sunscreen every day. There are also some studies done in the same year comparing 0.05% Retin-A to a 10% glycolic acid treatment. And that showed that the, the results from Retin-A were far superior to glycolic acid. So if you're thinking that, you know, this over-the-counter thing could be just as good as like a prescription Retin-A, not the case. But if you can't use Retin-A, then glycolic acid or lactic acid could be a good substitute, although it won't give you the same results over time that Retin-A does. So Retin-A is still the gold standard. So let's take a look at the individual alpha hydroxy acids. The two that are the most studied and are the most effective are glycolic and lactic acid. Glycolic acid is the big daddy of the alpha hydroxy acids because it's the little daddy of the alpha hydroxy acids. It is the smallest molecule and so as the smallest molecule it penetrates the skin better, it's absorbed much more easily, but of course that also makes it a little bit more irritating to the skin. Glycolic acid is derived from sugarcane um, but most of the preparations you'll see now uh, use it in its synthetic form. As with all the acids, they're all derived from something in nature, but most of them are synthetic now. Lactic acid performs much the same as glycolic acid, although its molecule is slightly larger, so it penetrates the skin a little bit less easily, but it also can cause less irritation and be a little bit milder and gentler on the skin. Lactic acid is originally derived from milk products. There's also some evidence that Lactic acid is moisturizing to the skin, that it actually increases ceramide levels, which is awesome because you know how I love ceramides and anything that can help to increase my ceramide levels, I am all over that. Now the rest of the alpha hydroxy acids are kind of all lumped together because they are much larger molecules. Um, they don't penetrate the skin as deeply and so they're much less effective. And those are mandelic, malic, tartaric, and citric acid, and those are all fruit acids. But they still have their place in skincare, they can help, and a lot of them are used in some of the higher concentration alpha hydroxy acid products to kind of buffer the other acids and make them a little bit less irritating and more easy to use. Alpha hydroxy acids are great to work into your anti-aging skincare routine. They uh, work very well and symbiotically with things like retinoids, so you can use those together. They don't cancel out any other ingredient. The only thing that you really need to be careful of is skin irritation and sensitivity. And when you're using other acids like retinoids or or say a vitamin C, which is also an acid, then adding in more acids then can make your skin a little bit sensitive. And using some chemical sunscreens can also irritate your skin if you're using an acid. I had such a hard time working alpha hydroxy acids into my skincare routine. It was really vexing me for quite a while, but I have finally gotten a couple into my skincare routine. So I'm currently using a daily 5% lactic acid serum, and I love that. And then I'm using a once a week 25% uh, kind of mixed acid, but mainly glycolic acid peel. And on the day that I do that, I don't put on my retin-a so that's usually like sunday night i'll go up to do like my you know skincare spa routine i'll do the peel then i'll do a mask and that's my little sunday night ritual so when i first started using my lactic acid i did introduce it slowly only one day a week uh, then i was going up to like two or three days sometimes i would alternate it with my vitamin c serum but over the course of say a month i was able to work it in and get up to every night and i don't have any skin irritation from it and i feel like my skin looks so much better from being able to use a lactic acid. So in my routine, the way I do it is because my Retin-A is the most important thing that I use and it must be used at night. I put that on at night. I don't use other acids along with it at night. Then in the morning, I use my vitamin C and my alpha hydroxy acid and I use only mineral sunscreen because they're much more mild and much less sensitizing than the chemical sunscreens. So the lactic acid serum that I use in the morning is from The Ordinary. This is their lactic acid acid 5% plus hyaluronic acid 
2%. This is at a pH between 3.6 and 3.8. We have been able to work this in daily and I absolutely love this. Then once a week I do a mild 25% peel at home. This is from Drunk Elephant. This is their TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This contains 25% alpha hydroxy acid. The mix of acids in here is glycolic, lactic, tartaric, and citric, but then there's 2% beta hydroxy acid, and this is at a pH of 3.32. So this is like a 10 minute peel, then you rinse this off, and then you moisturize well and go to bed. And I gotta say, when I get up the next morning, my skin is so smooth and feels so nice. It's like baby skin. Some other products that I recommend that are great products that if you wanted to try something at different price points. One brand that I really really love is the Alpha Skincare brand. This is like a drugstore brand. I have these products both in my Amazon shop. If you're shopping today I'll put the links to everything I'm showing you below in the information box. So this one is a facial product. This is the Alpha Skincare Essential Renewal Lotion. This is a 10% glycolic acid lotion at a pH of 4. This is paraben and fragrance free. This is their body lotion. I've done actually two videos on this before with before and after pictures and this stuff is amazing. This is their renewal body lotion. It's a 12% glycolic acid lotion for use from the neck down. It's also at a pH of 4 so that's a great brand. Another great brand to look at of course is The Ordinary. They you know I use their lactic acid. They also make a 10% version of this and what I love about The, is the Ordinary is that you can't can't beat the prices and they tell you how much is in there right on the label and on their website they always tell you what the pH is. Another great company is Paula's Choice and the Paula's Choice products all are very well formulated. They're all cruelty free. They're all fragrance free and the Paula's Choice products also list the concentration, the type of acid, and the pH either on the website or right on the label. If you're concerned with dark spots or age spots, a really great product to get is the Paula's Choice Resist Triple Action Dark Spot Eraser. This is a 7% alpha hydroxy acid. It's a mix of glycolic and lactic. It also also contains 2% hydroquinone, which is a spot lightener, and it's at a pH of 3.6. Pixie makes a couple of good glycolic acid serums and toners. They make the Pixie Glow Tonic. This is a whopper of one that they sent me. Look, it's customized. It says Angie on the label, um, but I had purchased this before that and used that one all up, so this is what I happen to have on hand to show you. This is a 5% glycolic acid toner and it has a little bit of a higher pH at 4.12 but that's not bad because you don't want to put on your toner and have it like burning your skin off so that's a nice mild toner to use if you're trying to work in a glycolic acid and they're all too harsh for you that might be a nice way to get one in there then they also do make one that's a little bit more heavy duty and that is the Pixie Overnight Glow Serum this is a 10% glycolic acid at a pH of 4 Another really great lactic acid serum is from Sunday Riley. It is the Good Jeans product. This is a much more spendy but luxurious product. It's got 5% lactic acid at a 2.6 pH. It is fragrance-free, natural, vegan, paraben-free, sulfate-free, gluten-free, and certified cruelty-free. Another product with lactic acid in it is the Colleen Rothschild Mandelic Acid Radiance Serum. This is another, you know, luxury product. This one is a 10% combination of mandelic and lactic acid and it's at a pH of 3.5. This one is fragrance though. It has a pretty strong fragrance of peonies or something like that. So if you like a fragrance, which is not my big thing, but you know if you love fragrance and you love that luxury skincare, this could be a great product for you to try out. All right, so that was a pretty decent selection of alpha hydroxy acid products, right? Hopefully if you're looking for something to work into your skincare routine that you could find something from my recommended products or that now you know what to look for in an alpha hydroxy acid product and which acid you're going for, what the proper pH is, and how to select something. That was it for today's video everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you for your time and really appreciate your watching. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.